if you're currently not the graphic designer you aspire to be, or however hard you try, your designs just look like a five-year-old trying out MS Paint for the first time then it's time to change just that and make 2023 your year of success. The first step, step number one, is something where you need to grab a pen and paper for, or if you haven't used a pen in about 10 years like myself, and your handwriting has morphed into that of a child, make some notes on your computer. We need to establish exactly where we want to be one year from today in 2023. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, get this so many designers out there just move from project to project without having any goals or plan in mind and they don't get very far without goals how can we ever push ourselves to reach higher now i said to myself in 2015 that i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to 100,000 subscribers here on youtube now i have one of these things that says i've got 1 million subscribers why because i had a firm goal in mind Really, just ask yourself, what do you want from life and your design career? Maybe it's to have your very own work printed in a magazine. Maybe you want to earn your first $10,000 freelancing. Or maybe it's something simple like having a killer portfolio up and running. Whatever it is that you really want as a graphic designer, just write it down. Now, it doesn't just have to be one single goal. You might have a handful of goals, but just make sure they are at least possible and not impossible. Great, so we have a goal or some goals in mind, but what next? We need to write down what it's gonna take for us to get to that end goal. This is step number two, and it's really, really important. Let's use the example of someone wanting to earn their first $10,000 as a freelance graphic designer. That person is going to need a portfolio of some kind if they want to succeed at a freelancing goal. They will need to optimize their accounts on freelance platforms to trigger certain types of clients and they're also going to need to work on the social media game and do research on the art of mastering freelance platforms. You need to know the path to your goal before you start walking it, but it does go deeper than that. This is where step number three comes into play. We also need to identify what is currently stopping you from doing the things to get to your end goal. So again, let's look at our budding freelancer as an example. Now they might not have a full portfolio yet because they don't have enough work in place to put into it. That would be one major hurdle preventing them from getting to their end goal. So they need to work out ways around that problem. In this instance, that could be working for charities or nonprofit organizations, entering design competitions, or working for friends and family simply to get work into their portfolio. It seems logical and actually, in fact, it totally is but so many designers don't think about their life and their careers in this way, and they're simply just missing out. But step number four is something that's going to elevate this entire plan to the next level. Somewhere in your notes, I want you to write three to five different things that are hindering you to getting to your goals. For the person trying to become a profitable freelancer, they might write down things like, I wake up late and I procrastinate in the morning, or, I'm not very good at website design, so my portfolio isn't going to look that good. If we can identify a few personal weaknesses that are going to cause us problems in our plans and goals, then we have identified our own faults and yeah, our weaknesses. This helps us become better people and stronger graphic designers. And so highlight your weaknesses in bold lettering, maybe in a different color in your notes. We need to work hard until those weaknesses are completely toast. Step number five is something you might not expect me to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it's just really important. You may very well completely and utterly fail, and that's okay, it's just part of life. But if you do fail, you need a plan B ready and waiting. What if that freelancer did not plan their goals or the route to their goals effectively? Well, maybe they did, but it just didn't work out for whatever reason. Well, that's just a fact of life, to be blunt. However, if that person has a plan ready and waiting, not reaching their goals isn't going to be too much of a problem. That person who wanted to become a successful freelancer might have set up some passive income revenue streams using his or her design skills. They might have even done something like create 50 different resumes with their portfolio ready to send to in-house design positions. The point here is that you should have plans in place just in case those goals don't ever materialize into reality. And that's not being negative, it's just being realistic. So here's a quick recap of exactly what you need to do and how it should look. 
So first, grab yourself a piece of paper or simply use your computer, your smartphone or your tablet and write down what you want to achieve as a graphic designer one year away from today. Great. Next, you need to write down what it's going to take for you to get to that achievement and what things you need to do in the coming days, the weeks and the months to reach your goals. Step number three, write down what it is that currently is stopping you from reaching your goals. And we do this so we can quickly identify the things that are likely stopping us from getting to our goals as a graphic designer. And it's really powerful. Step number four is to identify our weaknesses as a designer and a person in general. This is useful because we can quickly target the weak links in our chain, which ultimately means we are far more likely to succeed in the long run. And step five is to have a plan B or even multiple different plan Bs ready and waiting. This is just in case our goals are not reached. On screen is a very simplified version of what you can or should create. And it's something you can keep coming back to every day and week. And it's a really clever way to keep track of your progress and your goals. And listen, if you actually do this, you will be a cut above the rest of most designers in terms of efficiency and planning, which will really show in your career one year from today. Now I do suggest that you go back and watch this video again, maybe bookmark it or skip to the chapters in the video timeline and just finish making notes on this content. If you really are going to find true success as a designer in 2023, this today is exactly how you're going to do it. But before then, if you want to learn some really cool design hacks, just click the video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.